After half a year, welcome back to my new video and today is a pretty big release. The new Pokemon games are out, so the remakes of Diamond and Pearl. And they run really damn well on Ryujinx and also Yuzu, but Yuzu is yet for another video. Today I will show you how to set it up on Ryujinx and it is actually fairly simple. So to start off you do need a few things, of course you need to set up Ryujinx, which I'm going to show you in a second. So to start off, you do need a few things. Of course, first of all, you need to set up Ryujinx, and I'm going to cover that in just a second. And next, you need the firmware file and the product keys files. And these are not game keys, these are to decrypt the games so Ryujinx can actually read them. I cannot give download links to them, so all info will be down below or you can ask on my Discord. So next, we of course need the game. So in here, we have the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond update and the base game. And we are going to use those to set up Ryujinx. Now to get Ryujinx, just go to Ryujinx.org and click download the latest build. Here click Windows or if you're Linux, press Linux. And there is also a secondary version called LDN2 and this is for local wireless play. So they emulate the local wireless system so you can connect between multiple Ryujinx users and also people on modded switches can, can connect via LAN mode. Although this is great and you can actually trade between multiple people, so if you have two people playing on Ryujinx, you can trade with each other, battle with each other, which is really cool. But the downside is it won't get updated as frequently, so if you want online play, download the LDN2 build. It is on Patreon, but it is free, so if you scroll all the way down, it should be right here. So get the latest version right here, which is 2.4. Other than that, I'm just going to stick with the regular version, which you should use if you are not planning to go online. So it's already downloaded, so click show in folder and of course extract it, so extract all and extract it in the current folder. Once it is done, you have a reusing folder right here and in here is a published folder in which all the files are. So simply go to reujinx.exe, if you don't see it, scroll down a little bit. Open it up and you will get prompted, Windows protected your PC, saying it's dangerous or something. It is not, it is fully trusted. If you don't trust it, you can even find the source code online and hire someone to look through it for viruses or something. It is totally safe, so press more info and click run anyways. Once you first start up, you get this very weird error and Ryuji, Ryu0001 keys are not found. And these are the product keys I mentioned just a bit ago. You can open the setup guide or just press OK and follow this guide. And it is actually fairly easy to set up. So click File, click Open Ryujinx folder, and a folder here will pop up from Ryujinx. So here are some stuff which Ryujinx uses in the background. You need to go to System and here paste the prod keys files I just mentioned. So let's go to Switch, and right here I got the files, drag them in and then we should be good to go. Next we need to install the firmware, so click Tools, Install Firmware and install from XCI or ZIP. So if you have a game in XCI format, both XCI and NSP do work on Ryujinx. You can actually get the firmware file included in the XCI from the XCI itself. But as you have seen before, um, for me that does not really need it because I got the latest firmware right here. So it will be installed and click yes. Installing and it says successfully installed. And at the bottom right you can see the version. So that is absolutely correct. And now next step to add our games. So go to options and here go to settings. And here in game directories we need to press add and then locate our games. So I got all my games right here, press add. And if you press apply it should automatically load up all your games which is amazing. So there are a few settings you do want to look through. Um, they are not crucial, so you can just leave it at the default and it should run. Ryujinx is quite easy to use these days. Uh, but these are just some ease of use things. So you can enable Discord Rich Presence to show what game you're running on Discord. It doesn't really matter. I do really recommend to leave checked on, check updates from launch on, because the latest version is usually the best one. Use cursor on idle, doesn't really matter that much. To add more controllers, you can do that right here. So here you can enable or disable dock mode. If you enable this, the quality of the game might be a bit better. So I do recommend to stick this at enabled. And here just add players. So you can use the keyboard or controllers. 
And you do need to click a button and then press the button on your controller. So for me it's A, B, etc, etc. And here you can use the emulated controller type. So the emulated switch will see this controller right here. So it can be the Pro Controller, a pair of Joy-Cons, the left or the right one. And if you disable dock mode, you can also go handheld, I think. And right here you can actually save the layout, which can be quite useful. For me, I'm just going to stick to the default, so I need to remember it's Z and X for going next if I want to show some gameplay. Uh, but that's all good and dandy, so quit out of that. For system, all of this should be at the default. For graphics, here is some really fun thing. You can change your resolution, so you can change this to 4K for example, well this, this is 4K, um, this is a lot more than 4K and you can have a custom uh, one. For me I got a 1440p screen so this should be plenty, in dock mode it might even be 4K already. So here's the graphics multi-threading, just leave it at auto, everything should be the same. The anisotropic filtering can improve quality a little bit if you put it at 16x, but for now let's just keep it at auto. For the logging, keep this at the default, and again, press apply and everything should be great. If you press save, it will quit. The last thing I want to show you is how to add actual updates. So right click it, and here you can manage the DLCs, which of course is for DLCs. Here is a mod directory, so if mods are available, you can just put them in there, which is amazing. And here is a title update, and it might be very useful. So you can simply press the add button, it goes to your games, and here I got the Pokemon diamond update.nsp. Double click it, save it, and it should be at the latest version. Yep, you can see it right here. The latest version is installed. And now once you double click the game, it will just boot up. It is that easy. So it will go full screen. I hope it shows up of my recording. So right here you can see it actually works quite well. And I don't have an FPS counter right now. Um, can I get out of full screen? Yeah. Press escape and you will get uh, full screen out of the way. You can see it does run at uh, 30 FPS right now. Even with 3D showing it does run at 30, which is what the game is supposed to run at. If you press tab, you can disable VSync and now the game can run up to 60 FPS. And well, it is a bit smoother for animation. Um, there are some issues that NPCs walk faster and all that good stuff. So for now I do recommend to stick to 30, so keep VSync on, so press tab again to turn it up on again. And you have the native experience like it's on the Switch, so 30 FPS. But do know it is an option and it does work quite alright, if you don't mind the people walking faster of course. And sorry the gameplay is blurred because Nintendo will take down my videos if not. But hey, the game does run, it runs quite well. And yeah, I've been playing.